Hey, Strength Coach Sean here. Welcome to another follow along video for the Online Kettlebell Club. Week eight, two solid months of structured training where you follow along with me to keep you functional, strong, and healthy so you can do the things you want with your body and in your life. This session is another intense one. The complexity and the intensity increase week by week. But the good news is, if it's ever too much, you can revisit your previous weeks. That's what it's all about, okay? Make sure to listen to my cues, make sure to watch the demonstrations and have your water nearby. If you need extra time to recover during your rest periods, pause the video and do so. As always, try to have a little bit of fun with it and your training is not done until you keep me informed in the WhatsApp group. Okay, have fun with this. This is a great one. Let's get week eight started with phase one of our warm up in three, two, one, right now. Standing nice and tall, starting with your head and neck, look side to side. Making sure to deep breathe, totally relaxing, taking all the joints in the body through some gentle range of motion. And now, chin to chest, and look straight up. Take this opportunity to get in tune with your body and send some awareness to each segment as we work our way down. Ears to shoulders. Stretch out the sides of the neck. Working our way down, shoulder circles. Focus on the collarbone and the scapula, your shoulder blades. Excellent work. Go ahead and switch directions. Continuing to breathe. Relaxing with these drills. Getting into a kickstand. The arm is straight. Draw big backward circles. Try to have that bicep brush up against your ear as best you can. Deep breathe while you do this. Go ahead and switch directions. Excellent work. Same thing for the other side. Arm straight, kickstand position as shown. Backward circles to start. Deep breathe. Isolate the shoulder. And switch directions coming forward. Nicely done. Loosening up, pivoting on your feet, big torso twist. The eyes follow the hands, opening up the chest, pivoting on the back foot, relaxing with this drill. Excellent. Get into a squat stance. Sink into the hips. Stand up tall. Sink into the hips. Slight little pause at the bottom. Stand up nice and tall. One more time. Sink into the hips. And stand tall. Now, for the slow burpee. Sink down, transition to the floor, hold your plank. Sink back into the hips and stand up tall. Same thing. Crawl out, 
Sink back into the hips. Stand up tall. One more time. And come on back up and stand tall. Good job. Hands on the hips, big circles. Draw circles with the pelvis. Keep breathing, keep relaxing with this. Nourishing the joints, waking up the nervous system. Switch directions. Excellent work. Narrow stance, reverse lunge. Use whatever range of motion your body has. Try to have a knee raise after every repetition when you stand up tall. So the same leg is moving for each rep. We lunge, then we drive. We lunge, and then we drive. Excellent. Go ahead and do the same thing for the other leg. Lunge. Knee drive. Lunge. Knee drive. Keep your core engaged. Keep your chest high. Drive that front foot right through the floor. Excellent work. Narrow stance. Toe touch, reach for the ceiling, do a few wrist circles when you're up there. Toe touch, reach for the ceiling, and a few wrist circles when you're up there. A couple more times. Good job. Stationary marching, chest high, driving the one knee up, reaching back with the opposite arm. Relax with this. Good job. Last but not least, nice wide stance. Hinge back for the adductor stretch. Elbow comes to the inside of the knee. Do the best you can. Don't move into any pain. Stretch out those inner thighs. Just a few more. Good work. Nice work on the warm up. Time for phase two, our core activation. Get flat on your back using a kettlebell you're comfortable with. Press it right up as shown. Knees bent, core engaged. Pull it down and press. Hold. Bring your legs up. Stiffen the core, slowly lower one leg at a time, alternating. Keep your core engaged. Bend your knees, return your feet flat to the ground. Lower and raise the kettlebell a few times like a floor press. Bring your legs back up, zip up the core, slowly lower the legs, alternating. Tailbone should be off the ground the whole time, really stiffening the midsection. Bring your feet back down. Let's go for five press. Keep your core tight. Excellent. One more time, legs up. Slowly bring the legs down to the ground, alternating. Keep your core tight. Excellent work, ditch the weight. Get into a side plank position, either from the knees or in full. Drive that elbow down, lead with the hand. Eyes follow the hand, we're gonna do our 
windmill here. That's it. For five each side. Keep the hips up high. Tighten the core. Make sure to breathe. Stay engaged. Excellent work. Same thing for the other side. Drive the elbow into the ground, either from the knees or in full position. Thread the needle. Make sure the eyes follow the hands. And well done. Great job in the first round. Go ahead and take a short little break. Take a few deep breaths. Return flat on your back. Go ahead and grab your kettlebell, knees bent, feet flat. Keep your core tight. Press the bell up as shown. Do a few floor press. When you're ready, bring the legs up, stiffen the core, and slowly alternate bringing your legs to the floor, keeping your core engaged the whole time. Excellent work, knees bent, feet flat. Go ahead and do a few floor press. Bring those legs back up in the air, return to lowering the legs one at a time. Focus all your energy on the midsection. Excellent, knees bent, feet flat. Give me five floor press. One more time, legs up, alternate, bringing them down. Last round like this, stay tight. Excellent work, ditch your weight, get into the side plank. Either in the full position or from your knees like I'm doing. We're gonna do our windmill and thread the needle for five reps each side. Nicely done, go ahead and set up your other side and do the same thing. Five repetitions, drive your elbow into the ground, keep your hips up, stiffen the core. Nice work on the core activation, time for phase three. Watch this short demonstration before we start. Get into your half kneeling position, line up the bicep with the ear, open up the front hip, keep an eye on your hand, reach down and firmly place your hand flat on the ground. This is a phase of the get up. And we're gonna practice a few reps each side. Here we go. Using a kettlebell you're comfortable with or no weight. Get into your half kneeling position. Line up the bicep with the ear. Use the front leg, open up the hips by stepping out to the side. Keep an eye on the weight. Reach down with your palm and hold that windmill position for a few seconds. Slowly get back up into the half kneeling position. When you're ready, Open up the leg, look at the kettlebell, reach down to the ground, firmly plant that hand there. Come back up to your original position and practice this on your own. A few more reps each side. Opening up the hip, keep an eye on the weight, firmly place the hand on the ground. Return to half kneeling. Open up the hip, keep an eye on the weight, place that hand flat on the ground, come back up. One more.
Bring that weight down slowly, put it on the ground, go ahead and switch sides. Half kneeling position, chest high. Get the weight up overhead however you need to. This works with no weight as well. Open up the front leg, keep an eye on the weight, reach down for the ground. Return to your normal position. Open up the front leg, watch the weight, place that hand flat on the ground. Practice this, a few more reps. Open up the hip, keep an eye on the weight, reach down. Try not to reach too far back. It's more out to the side than it is back. One more time, opening up the hip, keep an eye on the weight, reach down. Good job. A great job on the coordination drill. If it didn't feel perfect at first, don't worry. With practice, it gets better. Pay attention as I explain to you what drill one is all about. Starting with our two hand swings, get nice and tight, hinge back, tight grip on the handle, hike the bell back, lock out those knees, drive hard with the heels, rip the handle apart as you stand tall. We're gonna put the bell down like so, stagger your hand position, one hand is up on the kettlebell, the other one is on the ground. We're shifting our weight towards the one arm. We're gonna hold the push-up position like so for about 10 seconds each side. Up on our feet quick, 20 jumping jacks. We're doing two sets. Starting in three, two, one. Core tight, hinge back, set up your swings. Here we go. Powerful. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your core tight. Rip the handle apart every time you stand. Excellent work. Put the kettlebell down. Position one hand on the bell, one hand on the floor. Hold your push-up position like so. Think about your core and slowly shift your weight towards the one hand. Go ahead and switch sides. One hand is on the kettlebell, other hand is on the floor. We're shifting just subtly over to the grounded hand. Think about that core. Excellent work, come up on your feet quick. And 20 jumping jacks. These can be modified if need be. And just a short little break, few deep breaths, shake things out. If you need a bit longer, pause the video. We're starting in five seconds. Round number two, set up your swings. Here we go. Core tight, hinge back, tight grip on the handle. Let's see it. Ground that kettlebell, position one hand on the top, one hand on the floor, hold that push-up position. Think about your core. Stay tight, but make sure to breathe. Go ahead and switch sides. Think about the core. Almost done. 
And up on your feet quick. 20 jumping jacks. Go for it. Excellent work on drill one. Recover, sip on some water, and pay attention as I explain to you what drill two is all about. This is going to be a very slow drill. Starting with the bent over row, chest high, back flat, slowly pull it back towards your hip, engage your back and shoulders for five controlled perfect reps. After the fifth, we're going to place the kettlebell on the ground, get into a swing position, really take your time and set it up. We're gonna hike it back and clean it once. You can use both hands to clean it. When it's in the rack position, fist is under the chin, elbow is tucked in, and then we're going to do slow marches and then hold. We're gonna return the kettlebell down to the floor as shown, taking our time with this. Swing it back, Get it into the rack however you need to. Get tight. Drive those knees up for four marches. Stand in the rack position and then bring it back down to the same initial position. In three, two, one. You're going starting with your bent over row. Chest high, back flat. Slowly pull the weight back. One. Two. Think about those back muscles. Three. Two more. Four. Totally controlled. Last one. Five. Good. Put the kettlebell down. Step back, don't let go of the handle. Chest high, back flat, get your core tight. Hike it back and rack it. Fist is under the chin, elbows tucked in. Hold this for a few seconds. Now, zip up the stance, four marches. One, two, three. Four, good. Stand in the rack. We're going to bring it back down like a swing. Put it on the ground. Here we go. Same thing, chest high, back flat. Hike it back, rack it. Hold. Now, four marches. One. Two, three, four. Stand in the rack. Bring it down like a swing. Keep it on the ground. One more like that. Chest high, back flat. Hike it back, rack it. Core tight. Hold. Four marches. One, two, three, four. Hold the rack. Bring it down like a swing. Good. Shake it out a little bit. A few deep breaths. We're doing the other side. In three, two. One, bent over row. Chest high, back flat, slowly pull it back. One. Two. Three, two more. Four, last one. Five. Kettlebell down on the ground. Don't let go of the handle. Step back, chest high, back flat. Hike it back and rack it. Standing plank. 
narrow stance, four marches. One, two, three, four. Standing plank, bring it down and swing. On the ground. Set it up, chest high, back flat. Hike it back, rack it. Stand in the clean position. Narrow stance, four marches. Stand in plank. Bring it down with a swing. Last one. Chest top, back flat. Hike it back, rack it. Hold the standing position. Narrow stance, four marches. One, two, three, four. Standing plank. Bring it down nice and safe. Fantastic job. Go ahead, shake things out, sip on some water if you need to. We're going to do one more round like that. 25 second break here. If you need extra time, pause the video and recover. You got about five seconds left here. Three, two, one. Starting with the bent over row, chest high, back flat, Slowly pull the weight back towards your hip. One. And two. Focus on the back muscles. Three. Two more. Four. And five. Put the weight down, step back into position. Don't let go of the handle. Chest high, back flat. Hike back the kettlebell and rack it. Fist under chin, elbows tucked in. Hold that standing position. Core tight. Now, narrow stance. Four knee drives. One. Two. Three. Four. Return to the standing position. Hold. Bring the kettlebell down like a swing. And return it to the floor. Reset. Chest high, back flat. Hike it back and rack it. Fist under chin, elbow tucked in. Hold that standing position. Narrow the stance, four marches. One, two, three, four. Back to the standing position. Bring it down safely. Back to the floor, reset. One more like that on your own. Go. Get tight. Think about your core. Get into your knee drives. Standing plank, bring it down safely. Now go ahead and shake things out. Little active recovery. We're starting with the other side in three, two, one. Bent over row, chest high, back flat, five repetitions, go for it. One. Two, three, two more, looking good. Four, last one, five. Put the kettlebell down, step back, don't let go of the handle, chest high, back flat. Hike the kettlebell back and rack it. Fist under chin, elbows tucked in, 
Keep your core tight. Zip up the stance, four marches. One, two, three, four, and hold the standing position. Bring it down safely. Reset, same pattern, chest high, back flat. Hike it back and rack it. Hold. Zip up the stance, four marches. One, two, three, and four. Standing plank. Bring it down safely. Last one. Hike it back, rack it. Think about your core. Zip up the stance, four marches. Standing plank, bring it down safely. Good job. We have our finisher coming up. Pay attention as I explain to you what this is all about. We're doing three sets in a row with minimal breaks. Starting with either the one arm swing for five each side or snatches if you're comfortable with it. Either way, feet are rooted to the ground. We're driving hard with the legs, staying tight and keeping a tight grip on the bell. Right after that, we're gonna stagger our stance as shown, approach the ground, static hold the bear crawl position. For 10 seconds, both sides. You're gonna take one little mini step forward and hold that position right there. Once we're done with the hold, up on our feet, five jump lunges each side. We're doing three rounds like this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Just so you know, I am going to be doing the snatches for five each side. So follow along at my pace or refer to the description on the side. We're doing three rounds, go for it.
you, but that was intense. Um, good for you if you did, especially if you did that finisher. Let me know your thoughts on that. How did it feel? What are you liking? What are you not liking? I need to know what direction we want to go in. I have a good idea, but I do like your feedback. Well done on crushing eight, uh, week eight. I'm super proud of the whole group. I'm very happy with uh, this club and the participation. So let's keep it rocking. Okay, all the best. We will see you next week for week number nine. Take care.